the random variable x has the binomial distribution b n equals 16, p equals 0 0.2. The, binomial, uh, the random variable y is defined by y equals 2x plus 5. We want to find the mean invariance of y and to evaluate the probability that y is equal to 11. Okay, part A. If I wanted to find the expectation of y, I need to know the expectation of x. So initially, I need to find the expectation of x. Expectation of x for binomial distribution is calculated by doing n times p. So I get 16 times by 0 0.2, which is 3.2. The variance of x will also be needed to calculate the variance of y. And this is calculated by doing mpq which is 16 times by 0.2. Q, of course, is 1 minus P, so that's 0.8. And when we work through that, we get an answer of 2.56. OK, that's the first part of this question. Next, we can start to calculate the expectation of Y and the variance of Y using linear identities. So I can say the expectation of Y. This is exactly the same as calculating the expectation of 2x plus 5. This then, of course, is using the linear identity, exactly the same as calculating 2 multiplied by the expectation of x plus 5. So we're going to get 2, lots of 3.2 plus 5. When I put this into my calculator and work it through, we get an answer of 11.4. Next, we're going to calculate the variance of y. Again, we're going to use the linear identities for this. So this is exactly the same as calculating the variance of 2x plus 5. So what we want to do here is we're going to do 2 squared times the variance of x. So we're going to get 4 times 2.56, which is going to give me an answer of 10.24. Let's look at how we get the marks on this question. Six marks to be obtained. We get a standalone statement mark for calculating the expectation of x and a standalone statement mark for calculating the variance of x. We then get a method mark and an accuracy mark. So we need to demonstrate here. Here is our method mark for our working at this point and our accuracy mark is given at the end here for 11.4 for correct answer only and for the variance we also get a method mark for this calculation and an accuracy mark for finding the variance and there are your six marks. Part B. Part B wants us to evaluate the probability y equals 11. Well, we don't have the distribution in terms of y but what we do have is the distribution in terms of x. So in other words, what we're trying to find is the probability that 2x plus 5 equals 11. Or if we solve this equation, the probability that 2x is equal to 6, dividing by 2, what we're looking for actually is that x is equal to 3. So all we have to do in this situation is solve the linear equation for y equal to 11 to find what x is actually going to be equal to. So I'm calculating the probability that x is equal to 3, in fact. You can do this with the tables, but I recommend every time you get a probability of x equal to something with a binomial or Poisson that you practice using the formula. So the binomial formula is NCR to find a number of ways that we can get these successes. So n number of trials from the original definition is 16. We want to know the number of different ways that we can get three 
success is from 16, so that's 16 choose 3. We're then going to multiply this by the probability of success, which is 0 0.2, to the power of the number of successes, multiplied by the probability of failure, which is 0 0.8, get this from doing 1 minus 0 0.2, and that's going to be to the power of the number of failures, which is 13. So remember, you can do a little back check at this point. The two probabilities should add up to 1, and the two powers should add up to the number of trials. Once we've put this into our formula, we can just put this into our calculator and generate our answer. When we do this, we get an answer of 0 0.246, correct to 3, decimal places. How do we get the marks in this question? Well, we get a standalone statement mark for demonstrating somehow that we get to the value that x is actually equal to 3. We are then going to get our method mark for demonstrating our working on this line and an accuracy mark for getting the correctly rounded answer of 0 0.246. Okay, well I hope that all made sense and that you understood it.